do you think the momentum shifted in this game? Um, probably, I think with the, the four-run inning, uh, you know, the guy hit the, the double down the line. We made it second and third. Potentially, Malik's could have cut that ball and got right to second base, and it's maybe turned into a different inning. Uh, the line drive to Robbie that he made a nice play on, but then overthrew CJ. But um, that's when it started to snowball, and then we just couldn't stop it from that point. And what did you think of Ryan Yarbrough's first start? Uh, I thought he was okay. You know, the pitch count got up. I know he's better than that. We saw him better than that in spring training. Uh, he will be better than that. It's just uh, probably a lot of anxiety. I know he's pitched, but that first start, there's something to be said for that. Some of what we talked about with Johnny Field last night. And uh, maybe we saw a little bit of that. As soon as he figures out that his stuff plays up here, to trust it and to attack hitters early in the count, that's what makes him good. I was talking to Kyle on the bench earlier today, and I think he struck out, you know, 10 an inning, or, or excuse me, 10 a game, 9 a game in AAA and walked probably two and a half roughly. Right now it's kind of even, and uh, that's not him. But we'll, we'll let him, being young, kind of grow into that confident role. Any update on KK? He's going to go get an MRI tomorrow. Not um, not too excited about the potential of it. I don't want to get too far ahead of it, but he's going to be out. Is there no. any concern with Carlos? He and he's had a rough uh, go here, especially this series. 0 for 5 today, 0 for 13 this series, 0 for 15. Yeah, I mean, I think there's fair concern for everybody a little bit right now, with the exception of Malix. I know Denard had a... Uh, a better day today, but we, we, there's no doubt we have concern one through nine. Uh, the one thing I will say about Carlos is that he's got the track record of being able to, to come out of this. He's proven that. I guess he'd be a little bit more concerned if it was a younger player, but he's got a track record. He's going to hit, and when he does, uh, we'll start benefiting from it. You're out of that inning if that ball comes down in the Sioux Crane. Did, did it look like it would have come in? I think he probably would have caught the ball. Uh, I mean, it, it had a couple more feet to go, but with the spin on the ball, I think Suki could have probably reached and, and uh, caught it. When you hit the, the wire of the mm -hmm. netting. Mm -hmm. The ball that went through Duffy just hit the infield and in, kind of got him? Or? Yeah, kind of. It looked like it checked up a little bit. I'm sure Matt is knowing him. He expects to make those plays, and it's just kind of unfortunate. And it kind of. You know, that's what we talk about playing perfect, playing clean. You know, uh, it forces us to use pitchers that we didn't want to use, build pitch counts up that we didn't want to do, and especially in a lopsided game. With Kiermaier's injury, is it a little bit extra frustrating seeing how it happened, making a, such a uh, great hustle it's play? It's beyond like frustrating. I mean, <laughs> we're all tired of KK getting hurt, and there's nothing he can do about it. He, get, he goes about his business as hard as anybody in the game, and... Uh, you know, it was a typical KK play, busting it around the second base. A guy bubbles the ball, and you'd like to see him get a little more reward for, for that than missing significant time. But this is three years running now where there's a chance he's going to miss a chunk. You guys hustle like that all the time. You've done it many times. you ever like to see him go feet first instead of going in with your hands? I, I don't think you can really change the style or the way the comfort of slide. I mean, we'll, we'll take the, the effort that he gives. I, it'd be way off base on me to second guess anything KK does because you know if, you, if you're if you hand picking somebody to play uh, that's the style you want your guys to play. And this was the thumb like in the yeah. length of a thumb? Uh, uh, yeah I mean I haven't actually yes all thumb. Kevin has it been long enough now for you to have, a better, really long. <laughs> to have a better evaluation of bullpen days? I mean you've seen good you've seen bad. Um, you know what, we're going to debate it probably for a while. Uh, and anytime you do something different, it's going to get debated. We understand that. We knew those thoughts were going to come along with it. I don't know if it's totally fair to, to say it when you're in a, you know, a 3 and 11, whatever, whatever our record is right now, stretch. I mean, because when you get in that stretch, everything's going wrong defense, pitching, hitting. So it's tough to really evaluate and say something's not working when right now we're, nothing is working. Get back to Kevin one more second. Um, you all checked him out at second yep. and left him in. Um, and then did he say something when he came back? Yeah, you know? he came in, wanted to run, uh, see if it would kind of calm down. I think that he went down underneath the tunnel, went to grab a baseball, and realized that he really couldn't grip the ball. Thanks, everybody.